Yo, what's good? This is DJ Smooth, and we're going to do a um, real quick tutorial on how to use vidIQ to choose the right hashtags, aka keywords, to rank your beat videos. So real quick, let's dive right in. Um, you're going to need a subscription to vidIQ. Um, vidIQ is a uh, marketing program for um, YouTube that is also a Chrome plugin. Um, you just get that and install it. I use the $10 a month um, fee, and it uses all sorts of different um, metrics. I can look at my analytics in vidIQ um, and see like what my f my subscriber base wants, <clears throat> and I can see what my top searches are, free instrumentals, what gets me traffic, um, even when the best time to post. So, okay, I'm not getting paid to do this. This is not a review. This is simply how I pick the keywords that I want to target for a beat video. So um, first things first is I kind of figure out like who would best serve the beat that um, that we um, are about to market. And in this case, I've got a track um, that I think that Juice World and um, I can hear Lil Uzi Vert on it as well. Um, so with vidIQ I can um, I used to be able to go to YouTube and do keyword research directly on the platform like for example world um, juice world type right and over here I would have these uh, keywords that I could um, then download as uh, related keywords for the the search terms and stuff problem is is they uh, remove the search um, numbers the search quantities uh, or volumes for the month which was um, really the only reason I used uh, to uh, how you say um, there was the only reason for me to get um, a subscription on this program and now that they've removed it from here fortunately inside of here is a um, <clears throat> a tab called SEO tags in the plugin um, the extension and that uh, by tapping that you can go here to these three tabs here and it just wants to sell you like the upgrade I just don't see a point for that for what I'm doing but in this keyword research tab this is what I use and um, typically I'll pick out a couple of artists and um, for this tutorial <coughs> we're gonna need um, for this tutorial, you're going to need like Excel, you're going to need a vidIQ subscription, um, and mm, notepad, basically. So, we go to um, uh, this tab here, and let's see, uh, we're going to edit this video a little bit as well. Um, <clears throat> But let's say uh, I want to do a Juice World type beat. So we'll just type in Juice World type just to get started. And um, this is going to bring up a bunch of search terms. The thing about targeting keywords is I personally don't believe in targeting keywords that has no search volume. It's just what's the fucking point? Being a number one in... 20 different search terms that get no traffic is not going to get you any traffic. So with that being said, we typed in juice world type and you see it brings up these, um, related keywords and this is really useful. So, uh, what I can do now is alphabetize this stuff and then I can pick through here and see what got traffic 
you see that there is some free um, type beat keywords here, 2019. I'm targeting that pretty heavy. Uh, Future and Juice World, they did a uh, project together. And for this particular beat, um, it could have fit on that. But um, since we've got this alphabetize and i'll just come in here and highlight the keywords that i'm probably going to target um and i've got this little section here um basically we just highlight these and copy it and then we go and bring up an excel uh spreadsheet go ahead and start a new one <clears throat> or you can use google uh documents it doesn't really matter what really matters is that you're able to um, manipulate the data once it's in um, once it's in the spreadsheet that you otherwise wouldn't be able to do on that web page. Uh, there are uh, things about vidIQ I like. There are things about vidIQ that just aren't you know there yet for whatever reason. And, um, hey, it is what it is. So uh, now I've got these in Excel and I can manipulate the data. Then I can highlight everything by pressing Control A. Um, and then I'm going to use uh, Word Wrap. And I'm going to compress these columns here with this Word Wrap here. Now um, I can uh, see everything in one little panel. So uh, next thing we're going to do is we've got these free little um, type beat sections here. Um, I'm going to now take my sort filter and sort by largest to smallest. I'm going to hit expanding selection here. <clears throat> and then um, I'm taking all of these with zero search traffic. And we're just deleting them. You know, what we need here is a good 30 terms. Um and in, in, um, in, in this research that we do, I do it daily because the numbers change daily. <coughs> it's best to just um, pick a few artists. So you got Future here, you got Lil Peep. Um, Lil Peep is uh, dead, you know, Extentation's dead, so I'm not really pushing his um, beats anymore. It was okay to work. Uh, with those guys whenever the um, you know last year these days it's um, I'm just moving on they're moving on I'm sorry guys so the next thing is is to grab this isn't a guitar beat but if it was I would be using these these uh, here so we're just gonna grab the juice world entries now so we're gonna go into juice and we had said something about Uzi so I see little Uzi vert type beats in here as well um, so we'll take and copy these keywords into our spreadsheet real quick. And, um, let me see, this one is needing to be over here in this column, right? So we'll just delete that. Um, and you know, vidIQ could make this stuff a lot, um, uh, easier if they would allow this um, web page to be um, if they would just put a little more effort into their web page um, but since they don't there's not much control over it they um, um, they do a lot of customer outreach I guess I could hit them up and see if they were interested in modifying things but since they've taken the search thing down, um, the search volumes, which was really uh, the bee's knees um, on the, the searches themselves, you have to do it through this particular page. And, and there's really no uh, real correlation of what exactly is accurate here. You know, you don't really know what's accurate. Um, if these numbers are accurate, I don't really think they are, but there's something, you know, two by, I, two buddy doesn't even, 
give this kind of information any uh, or at all. So um, that's why I'm using this program. So we got about 26 of these. And there's some duplicates in here. Um, if we go back to vidIQ, we can just go in tight, a uh, little Uzi, and do a search on him directly. And then we can do like the free search there. So you can see there's all of these keywords with just no traffic. Um, this one's got 18,000. I mean, that's per month. So not a whole lot of traction on the free part. But if we just cruise through this, um, we can we can just grab these entries. And <clears throat> this is not really a little skies or mosey beat um but let's copy these into our spreadsheet we're almost there like we really almost got like most of all of the um entries that we need um we're going to sort through this again expand the selection we're going to get rid of these um this is a little oozy just by itself and whenever i go for uh keywords these um i i sometimes use uh the little mosey just the artist titles and stuff and but mostly youtube has been ignoring that um and just giving me rankings on um, a handful of stuff per post, which is better than nothing. Really, uh, the uh, keyword research is just um, a, you know just gonna help you a little bit. But um, let's get back in here and take a look. Let's lose Uzi Vert type beat 2018. The longer keywords, you got to remember, like people are searching for this stuff on their phones, and as little as they have to type, uh, the better. You feel me? And if you look at like these numbers here, as opposed to these, they're identical. So we're just going to eliminate this column, <clears throat> uh, and then we're going to go to the data tab and remove duplicates in this column right here. So we're going to go across and remove duplicates from everything. So there's 29 keywords here. Um, we have some 2018 entries, which uh, need to be updated as 2019. It's the second week of 2019. Um, and that's okay. Uh, so I got 29 keywords that are directly related to the video and the next step that i take is to count the characters so i'll go over here to character count online.com and i'll paste these entries in here now i've got 512 characters and that's good so we can eliminate some of these um in uh, some of these lower traffic keywords and still um, fall in line. So next thing is grab a notepad um, from your uh, <clears throat> from your Windows shell um, and let's look over these keywords and <clears throat> I've got a cold, sorry about that, but let's look at these keywords and see what's related, see what is not. Um, a little type little peep type beat it's not really um related but it kind of is the beat that we're working with is a bit um up tempo well no it's not not really it's not a guitar type beat look at what it's not and and what's in your listing here and we got 2018 we're just going to update these to 2019 And that will eliminate this keyword here. Um, we're gonna that's five keywords. People just ain't gonna type in all of these keywords on their phones. So 
just when you're selecting these things, um, keep in mind the length of the keyword and what, what would you be willing to type in search for a beat? You feel me? Now, um, we have a ton of keywords here with Juice World, Lil Uzi Vert, and free beat free beat type you know what i mean and these are like high high traffic keywords you hit for a couple of these and you're gonna get you know two three four thousand um views or better for these these 15 million um search volumes but the next step now so we've got these <coughs> we've got these keywords and um, i'm going to build a title out of them so i want to I want to take the the ones with the higher traffic and um, make a title with it. So we'll take Juice World Type Beat, um, Lil Uzi Vert Instrumental, right? We'll type in 2019 here. Uh, I I have um, been experimenting with these titles and and with youtube here for six months and i've I had a little spot where i did well and you know youtube traffic they give it to you and they take it away until you get uh, um over ten thousand subscribers it's really difficult to get traction so you just have to you know consistently put up product every day and uh, and feed their algorithm and and um, and so forth. So this is a uh, free juice world type beat Lil Uzi vert instrumental. This is all keywords. Instrumental itself is a 15 million, um, search volume keyword. Instrumental 2019 is probably going to be, uh, in the half a million now, maybe up to a million. Uh, Lil Uzi vert instrumental is uh, a full keyword type beat is a full keyword in and of itself, which is a 15 million keyword. And I'll just give you an example, like, okay, so let's look at what type beat is, right? Tight, tight beat. The object here is to get as many keywords in that title um, as, as possible. So instrumental 2019, so you can get as many chances as possible you feel what I'm saying <coughs> instrumental 2019 that didn't even didn't even give me anything did it what's going on with that anyways this is still um, 2019 tag is getting um, getting traction daily and, and you know 2018's gone so um, I have my keyword selected I have my title built so next step is to um, let's see what was that called Keyscapes Keyscapes is the name of that beat so Juice Swirl type beat I want to be uh, in the top of my search functions Lil Uzi Vert instrumental is second um and let me see about putting type beat in here type beat um instrumental is um uh, the thing is, like, if you don't target traffic keywords, just keep this in mind, you're not going to hit for them. You understand what I'm saying? And being number one on search rankings for a zero traffic keyword is going to get you nowhere. All right. So, um, little Uzi type beats. All right, so I've got these keywords. I'm pretty sure there are no duplicates here, but we can pop this back into, um, we can pop this back into a column here and do 
a remove duplicates just to make sure. Um, and now we come to the next step, which is to add commas to this list of keywords. So I'll comma, down arrow, uh, left arrow, comma, down arrow, left arrow, comma. And I'm going to insert commas all the way down this list. Why? Well, because we're about to upload a beat video. Um, so the next step is we take this... Um, <clears throat> we're going to take our... Uh, what is it? Um, our video that we produce to upload on um, YouTube and pop it on into uh, pop change the name basically so we'll go over and to our videos grab the video that we're going to upload and copy and paste into um, our video and upload it now um, I'm gonna uh, I don't have a video for this made yet, but this is this is now ready to upload. Um, so I'm gonna pause this video and we're gonna come back and finish out um, this tutorial after we get the beat finished. All right, peace. Okay, we're back. Um, the beat video is done. Um, now we just want to upload it to YouTube. So I want to show you what I do to upload these beat videos. Um, let's go back to the title here. This is called Keyscapes. Um, we did the album art already, the cover art and everything is ready to go. Um, <clears throat> so all we need to do at this point is just to get it uploaded and get it live and shoot out the email. So let's go into the project here and rename the the file and this is important you need to rename the file that you're uploading to YouTube to the title itself um, I don't know why it's important um, I just this is what I, how I was trained so let's go and upload a new video today upload this video um, I tend to go uh, for um, a unlisted video to upload first um, and now that uh, it's unlisted I will uh, shoot out some emails and um, wait till it gets to about 300 um, views on the video before um, I uh, what do you call it uh, DJ smooth.com uh, before I make it public, which is about um, 12 hours, 12 to, to depending on how good the beat is, it, it uh, how long it takes me to get to all those views. So we're going to go with um, our playlists. I'm going to add this to playlists. Free trap beat is not really a sample beat. It does kind of sound like a sample beat though but there is no guitar in there um so we add the title um then we take the title uh and put it at the top here and then your link needs to be right at the very top as well in your descriptions and we come into our uh, keywords our hashtags here and we're going to drop them into our tag frame and if you look we got too many so let's go in and get rid of the um, lower traffic keywords and um, get those out of the way. Now we can add like your personal tags. Because um, you always want to have those in there. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to... Um, go with that now we'll add our custom thumbnail you always want to add a real custom thumbnail to um <clears throat> to complement the uploads you don't want to use any of these video thumbnails um 
YouTube wants to know that you're interested in like their platform and using it and and um, this is one of those things that they like. Now, the next step that I do is I'll take these commas and I'll turn them into hashtags and we'll put these in the description. Honestly, um, you really have to have a good subscriber base to really start getting traction on uh, beat videos. So, um, YouTube will sometimes play with your emotions and give you views, make you feel important and that sort of shit. And most often they don't, you know, since their new update back in December, I can't get any traction at all. So I just keep, you know, doing what I'm doing and, and plugging away on social media and, and working towards getting subscribers that uh, are engaged in what I've got going on. So we got this thing uploading. Um, another thing I wanted to touch on with YouTube is like you need to answer every single fucking comment. You know, everybody that comments on your page needs to be answered. <clears throat> and um, I use TubeBuddy and vidIQ for answering um people's comments and how i do that is i will go into um other features here in youtube studio and click more so i can go back to the old school um original um dashboard and from there i can um hit community and I, I subscribe to two buddies, nine dollar a month plan, and the um, uh, two buddy. Let's see, video IQ is ten bucks a month, and two buddy is twenty. And honestly, I don't really need two buddy that much, but it helps out whenever um, on a certain things that vid IQ doesn't. So next up, now that I've got these comments here, how I've worked this out is um, I use vidIQ's function and the um, sort function here is like I, I will find the videos that don't have replies from me yet. And with that, I can see all of these people that have commented on my videos um, and I can just uh, focus on the ones that I've um, that I haven't said you know thanks to. So uh, we'll run through this one um, starting at the bottom. TubeBuddy's got this ability to do canned responses. And vidIQ's got the same thing, but I just happen to have TubeBuddy's uh, up and ready. And what canned responses are are basically um, uh, preset answers to um, generic comments that people leave. So like this is like thumbs up 100 100 100 wah wah wah. Um, basically this is um, just answering people and giving them a thumbs up, giving them a heart, and engaging with them. You know what I mean? I can go even further and ask them a question, but I find that people just once they leave a comment, they're gone. Like they never come back and say um, reply. Usually, are you an artist? You know, give them a simple, like, question, that sort of thing. Um, and sometimes you'll get some replies back. But the main thing is, is that you need to show YouTube that you're interested in people who are interested in you by engaging with them in a very mini minimum with um, some canned responses and um, or just respond for real, for real. You know, I, I'm going to take... Um, and just randomly put these in there. I can ask him a question. Um, as you notice, I've got all these emails here. I send out these emails um, to uh, to my email list and let them know I got a new beat dropping every day. And they come in, and if they leave their um, their email i will in a week i will send them uh an mp3 of this beat that they left a comment in my youtube section this is engagement at its you know at its finest it's just being clever you know use your use your fucking noggin 
and create something out of nothing. And and these folks like um, the beat makers that I've got you know relationships with, they always come through and, and say hi and nice beat and that sort of shit because I do the same for them. But these artists that have dropped their emails for me, um, I'd go back in and I know who likes what now. You know what I mean? I know that they like uh, my beats enough to come to YouTube from a in in email and say, "Yo, I like this beat. Let me give him a like. Let me give him my email address, and you know, hopefully he'll send me the beat, which I do. It just takes a week for me to uh, reply to these. Um, and why? Because I, I want to have as many people signing up to these beats as possible and one day is not enough usually it takes people two three days to get around to open an email so give your people time i'm not really supposed to show y'all my traffic and stuff like that so i'm going to get off of that page uh, apologize for that youtube don't ban me um so now the processing is done you guys kind of get an idea of what i do to um, upload a video um, next up is we're going to uh, finish up the uploads and that means we're going to post this to Twitter um, Facebook one of my pages on Facebook um, let's see let's throw this on DJ Smooth Beats alright now um, I'm gonna get a blogger. Got an old account from a friend shit over there, and Reddit. Um, post this in the beats section. Beats, 6,200 people are in that. 80 are online right now, so 80 people live might get a chance to see that video. I might get a comment on it, and you never know. So save this to Pinterest now let's go to uh, the last little bit let's put our cards into the video our end screen subtitles and we'll be ready to shoot this beat out so as you can see with vidIQ I've got the templates set up and um, it just makes my uh, uploads a little bit faster Usually they coordinate with like my little mini ads that are in here. Drop your comment below. Is this beat shit or not? Um, as you can see, it's, there'll be a little thing up here saying, "Has this beat? Is this a poll?" So, anyways, um, I've got that worked out. We're gonna save this um, as our template, and then let's go to our end screen. <clears throat> getting over a cold so I'm a little wheezy so let's import this from the last video or maybe this video here be better and um, at 20 seconds to the end of the video this comes up and I've kind of got that subscribe screen um, like more beats latest video it's set up for this layout so I got sample type beats I got uh, my regular beat videos and my subscribe button right here it's all ready to go, so we'll press save on that. Um, use your, you know, be clever, you know, guys. You have to use your imagination. You have to really um, put some effort into this. And besides just making beats and and making simple videos and throwing them on YouTube and hope you, you know, catch a um, somebody looking for beats. Uh, you you uh, you can't always, you know, depend on luck. <laughs> so we we'll add captions here this has got like link information my social media stuff and uh, there we are we have um, basically the whole video is set up and ready to go and hopefully sooner or later we'll get back over 4,000 um, followers of subscribers here and um, YouTube will um, 
deem me worthy of giving more traffic to my beat videos again. Um, until then, we're just going to consistently drop these videos for my people, uh, for my fan base. Um, man, this was like 900 views earlier today. Um, numbers just aren't all that great across the board, but... Um, Let's see, we got three unlisted, monetization is on. This video is officially uploaded. So listen, y'all, um, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Um, give me a like and a subscribe. Let me know in the comments if there's any other like uh, tutorials that you guys want me to focus on. I'm gonna be making some uh, more today, um, how to make beat videos and that sort of thing. Um, Outside of that, let's um, let's uh, wrap this up. Appreciate y'all tuning in, man. Peace out.